Welcome everyone for the new video about the wonderful places around the world. Here's another information for today's topic. Enjoy and be amazed for this. If you are not yet subscribed on this channel do it now. Make sure to click to notification bell to notify the most exciting videos on this channel. Let's start. Today's content is. La Union is famous for the beach town of San Juan, the surfing capital on the side of North Luzon. This province is a great place to travel for non-surfers and surfers alike. There is more to experience here apart from its famous surf. And, there are many interesting places worth visiting in nearby towns if you want to venture outside of San Juan. You can experience a lot in La Union, even on a short trip. Three days is enough to visit most sites and attractions on this list. If you only have two days, a weekend trip, for example, you can skip some items, but still be able to experience the highlights. I loved how easy it was to travel in La Union. Getting there and around is convenient as most towns are conveniently located along the highway. Also, frequent buses pass by the highway to slash from Manila, Vigan, Ilocos Sur, Loac, Ilocos Norte, and Baguio. This is especially useful if you want to go by commuting on public transport, Plan your trip with this list of the best tourist spots and things to do in La Union. 1. Surf in San Juan La Union is home to nearest surfing spots from Manila. Aside from good swells, this is one of the reasons why it had become a popular destination for avid surfers and people who want to learn the sport. Urbistondo Beach in San Juan is the most popular surfing spot and main tourist area. In contrast to other beaches in the Philippines, its peak season starts in October until March when the best waves arrive. Looking for other spots to surf? You can also find alternative surf spots nearby including Bakhnatan, Darigayos, Tabak, and Jesus Point in Kerala. 2. Tangadan Falls Cliff Diving Take a break from the surf and enjoy a dip at Tangadan Falls. This waterfall in San Gabriel is an easy day trip from San Juan. Tangadan Falls has a spacious plunge pool that is perfect for swimming. You can ride a bamboo raft to the main cascade and enjoy a cool waterfalls shower massage. Nearby, you can find two smaller waterfalls that are popular for cliff diving. One is located on the upper level, upstream, and the other is farther downstream. All visitors are required to pay the entrance fee and get a local guide. The entrance fee costs PHP 30 per person. Meanwhile, the guide fee is PHP 500 per guide, for 1 to 3 persons. Always remember to keep safe when cliff diving and swimming in the deep pool of the waterfall. Life jackets are available for rent for PHP 50 per piece. 3. La Union Sunset La Union's coastline is blessed with glorious sunset views including Urbistondo Beach. Go to the rocky area on the south side of the beach for dramatic views. 4. Food trip and nightlife in Urbistondo The rise of San Juan as a popular beach getaway near Manila attracts a steady crowd of mill niles. Urbistondo had grown a bit of a hipster feel to it. Don't miss the Instagram and tummy worthy food scene. Then cap the night off with drinks at many beach and roadside bars. My personal favorite places to eat slash drink are Olas Banditos, Mexican, Mad Monkeys, Burgers, Surf Shack, Restabar, and Tagpuan, Affordable Meals. 5. Halo Halo de Iloco The food scene is exciting as well in San Fernando, the capital city of La Union. Getting there only takes 20 minutes, it's a shame if you miss it. The most popular place to eat here is Halo Halo de Iloco, located along Zandwita Street. They sell Halo Halo with a tasty twist. Try the Buko Halo Halo, Janatan Na Halo Halo or Deep Fried Halo Halo. They also serve delicious Ilocano fusion dishes. You might have to queue a bit before getting a table since the restaurant is almost always full. The wait is worth it. 6. Macho Temple While you are in San Fernando, stop over at Macho Temple, a picturesque temple found on top a hill. It is the first Taoist temple and only one in the Philippines that is dedicated to the Chinese sea goddess Mazu. Some of its interesting features include the towering main building crowned by an unusual spider-type dome, the majestic five-door gate, and interiors filled with ancient Chinese decorations. As you can imagine, a lot of people come here to get a selfie with the sign Macho. 7 Thunderbird Resorts Poro Point Seeking a luxurious stay or romantic dinner Go to Thunderbird Resorts Poro Point in San Fernando. This Santorini-inspired resort is famous not only for its imposing whitewashed buildings and blue domes. It's also praised for its gorgeous cliff-top location, 
facing a serene sunset view of the West Philippine Sea. Eat the Hay and Abado. From San Juan, head north to the town of Luna and check out the Hay and Abado, the newest tourist attraction in the province. Built from stones found along Luna's rare pebbled beaches, the rest house sits on a peaceful property owned by Dr. Edison and Dr. Purita Chan Noble. In the interiors and around the grounds, you can find many interesting stone and wooden sculptures made by Korean artist, Bong Kim. The artistic feel of the place reminded me a lot of the black houses in Chiang Rai, Thailand. 9 Luna Pebble Beach On the beachfront of Bahay and Abado, you can find the most beautiful pebble beach that remains in Luna. This section of the coastline is surrounded by vibrant blue waters and strong sea waves. The town is known as the pebble capital of the north because of its many pebbled beaches and big stone picking industry. 10 Luna Church and Baluarte Visit some of Luna's remaining heritage sites. The St. Catherine of Alexandria Parish, also called the Shrine of Our Lady of Namakpakan or Namakpakan Church, stands beside the town plaza. This Spanish colonial church was built in 1690. It is one of the grandest churches in the province. It is listed as a national cultural treasure by the National Museum of the Philippines. A few hundred meters away, the Luna Baluarte or Watchtower stands along a pebbled beach. The watchtower served as a fortress that was used by Spanish colonizers to warn residents of pirate attacks. During my visit, I, and travel buddy Gail discovered that the Luna watchtower had been beautifully restored. The structure was fully intact and repaired from its ruined state after it got destroyed by a strong typhoon in 2015. Unfortunately, the once beautiful pebbled beach in this area had been overmined by stone pickers. From the photos we had seen online, the pebbles used to cover the whole beachfront up to the waterline. Today, only patches of big stones remain. It's a shame because pebbled beaches are quite rare, formed by nature for millions of years. Now it is long gone. 11 La Union Grape Farms and Fruit Picking Before leaving La Union, drop by the grape farms in Baon. You can go grape picking here and bring the fresh harvest as Pasalyabon. Grape farms in the country are a surprising discovery for most Filipinos because we have a notion that this fruit can only grow in cold weather. There are numerous grape farms in town and many of them are open to the public. The one we had visited was Kapuz Grape Farm. They did not charge any entrance fee, but they may ask for a PHP 20 fee if you plan on taking photos. Grape picking cost is PHP 250 per kilogram. Contact the farms prior to your visit because grape picking is only available during selected times of the year. Travel tips before you go. Where to stay in La Union. Make base at San Juan or San Fernando to enjoy the central location in La Union. Getting to all tourist spots mentioned on this list is very easy from both locations. Herbistondo Beach in San Juan is lined with a variety of options ranging from backpacker-friendly budget options to luxurious accommodations. Book a room in San Fernando if you want to stay nearer to city comforts. La Union Resorts, Hotels and Hotels book your stay with these top-rated places to stay in La Union. Maraming salamat sa panonood mga pogi. Huwag kalimutan ang mag-like, mag-comment at mag-subscribe. Pindutin rin ang bell sign para laging update sa mga videos ni Kapitan Sayot.